Look at this. That's the Allen key that is supposed to hold that on there. Hold it under the hydraulic. I think we found the problem. So we're going to go ahead and replace this coupler. Notice that you got the key in. Slide that on. Always helps put a little bit of something on there and a rust or whatever. You just want to tap it a little bit. Alright, and where were we? Alright, you don't want to slide this completely. You want at least to leave a fingernail gap. And I'll explain it later on. <clears throat> so you just go ahead and spin it around a little bit. And I'll put down in the lower section what size Allens. These are six times one metrics. And if you notice when we took them out, we had a little bit of an issue where they were nice enough to come out. So I went ahead and put some blue Loctite on there. And I'm just going to tighten that lock in there. Okay. On the house, you got open side, closed over side. Well, we're going to take the closed over side and put it up here. And these are 13 millimeter bolts. Well, 13 millimeter heads. There we go. Let's get them started. It's raining, by the way. All right, somebody's going to say, well, you're doing it wrong. Well, you know what? Teach their own. But if you notice, got a line right here. And if you remember, the coupler was all the way in the house. That line is where the coupler needs to rest. So, for anybody panics, we'll line that up after we get this all situated. Okay? So, go ahead, tighten this up. Find where your key is. See where your key is there. Might have to spin the engine around a little bit to line it up. Make it easier on you.
what you got there. Slowly work it in. Well, supporting the whole thing. Okay. And what you're going to do, I know I did a boo boo, but you always want to support some way. You don't want it supporting on the shaft itself. Okay. So that will take. And that in the washer and lose the nut. Now you got your blue Loctite, you want to use your 2.5 millimeter hex head wrench. You're going to notice it wobbles and everything. And that's it. Next stop, just run it see what it does everything should be fine double check make sure you're inside where everything is let your blue loctite dry for a while before you get in there and get creative but you should be good to go okay so you see the amp in here and everything is doing good key is in there but just be mindful that every once in a while just come out here and check it just to make sure that your key hasn't come back on the other side you'll have to look inside through there and see if your key is trying to come up through that way. But if you notice, the dampeners, the dampeners are looking fine. They're actually pressed the way they should be. There's no major gap. It's just what is between the dampeners. Oh, focus. You'll notice that there's little nubs on the dampener. They're on each side, just kind of like what they use to center it. So. Hope the videos helped you. Hope it's something that y'all can, everybody that owns one, or even somebody who's potentially thinking, oh, I'm one. I hope you really think about it and look at it and keep an eye on that. That coupler is a neat little thing. The cool thing was it was covered under warranty. I got it in two days. Best go, you guys did great. Here's to you. Now, that being said, one other thing I did find with this. Okay, when you have the boom, and that is the piece that is attached to the main body of the uh, backhoe. And it's basically up and down. And you have the other piece that extends out. Well, the main piece, the boom, if it's on, it's on the right-hand controller, if you have your hand and you're pulling it like you're lifting it up and trying to swing a load, if you're trying to swing that load, that boom starts coming down. If you try to pull it back, and extend your load making the other arm come in and out it starts coming down also if you're using it and you're wanting to do it in conjunction with like go ahead and reach over here to open or close the bucket it'll start coming down again and when I say coming down it's not like slow see I'm talking it just starts coming down so be mindful if you're gonna use anything else Take your hand off that right controller. Now, if you're doing left and if you want to open and close the boom together with the levers on the right side or on the left side, you'll be fine. I didn't have any problems. It was only when I kept it up, kept the boom up, and I was trying to swing left or right because at the same time you get used to starting to 
maneuver how you want it to work. Well, the problem was I had to remember every time, take my hand off that lever. So if I was moving left or right or extending the boom or even wanting to open or close the bucket, I had to make sure that it was in the center spot to where I could open or close the bucket. It's just another safety step for y'all to keep mindful that that boom will come down if you keep your hand pulling it in the upward motion. All right, y'all have a great and safe and happy new year. Whatever you guys do, always be safe and look out for each other. Talk to you later.